So uh, we will be starting with normal distribution, right? So basically, what exactly is normal distribution? So what are the most important characteristics of normal distribution? Any idea, Manish? What are the most important characteristics of normal distribution? Uh, mean is, uh, you can say mean is zero, one case, and mean it depends on the uh, mean equal to zero is a very special case of a normal distribution. Yeah, so it, uh, if you are thinking about that, then you to follow a bell curve, or you can say. Yeah, so the most important characteristic, the most important characteristic of of normal distribution is that it is symmetric in nature. Right? Now, the moment I add on this concept of symmetricity, what I mean is symmetricity implies that there are no potential outliers in the data set. There are no potential outliers in the data set. Number two, most likely there is no problem of missing observations. For a given video. Now, uh, even if there are missing observations, it becomes very easy to impute for them if the distribution of the variable is more or less normal. Right? So, <clears throat> the moment I assume or I can see that a variable is normally distributed, the best thing that comes to my mind is that there are no uh, outlier issues or there are no, there is no unnecessary asymmetry in the particular data set that I am working with. So it, it makes analysis very simple for us. Right? So these are the two most uh, important characteristics. Right. Now, uh, okay. above all, uh, most importantly, most of the normality of a distribution makes it easier, makes analysis and aggregation easier. Right? So normality of a distribution makes analysis and aggregation easier. So basically it makes it very if the uh, variable or the sample or population is normally distributed, then drawing out a sample from a population and then extending the results of the sample to the population becomes very important or becomes very easy. So this is the reason why normality is mostly desired by uh, analysts. So however for credit risk, uh, since risk data or any kind of industry data is mostly it's a very categorical data in nature, therefore it becomes very difficult for us to identify or uh, normality becomes a very uh, difficult thing to obtain in the industry since the data itself is so categorical in nature. Right? So this is basically uh, a reason as to why the existence of too much of a categorical data, a categorical variable becomes, uh, makes it difficult for us to obtain a normal distribution.
So basically, what are the implications of normality, or how do we identify normality? So the next question that comes to my mind is. Uh, What are the major implications Okay, so what are the major implications of normality? Number one, normality implies that the behavior of a variable has been more or less identical and robust over time without unnecessary unnecessary spikes or volatility. This is because given normality, given a normal distribution Because given a normal distribution, it becomes very difficult. Given a normal distribution, 99.97% of the values must lie within the new plus minus. Star sigma. So lie within a mu plus minus three star sigma. Interval, right? So uh, sixty-six point six seven percent of the observation must lie between uh, mu plus minus two sigma. Therefore, if any values, therefore if any of the values lie above like beyond mu plus minus 3 sigma, then it becomes a challenge or then that clearly indicates that there is some abnormal change in the behavior of the variable. 